just filmed empties. Now let's do our favorites. Intro. One hate it. Should we start with a hate it just to get the negativity out of the way? I did this last time. Maybe from watching my previous videos, you might be able to guess this. And because it's peeking out from the bottom of the frame. This is the Rimmel London Two Step Lip Intense Like Kiss Proof Color or something. It's, oh, I remember what this is called. It's called Provocalypse, which sounds like Apocalypse. 16 hour kiss proof lip color. I will give it that. It is kiss proof except you get the balm like on you But <laughs> the reason that this is a hate it for me And I wish I had saved the receipt because I would take this shit back Is that this part the pink part the little lip color part is like is like the consistency of honey once it's applied to your lips it is so sticky I felt like I was not gonna be able to like move my mouth and I just didn't like it. I just, I'm not even really that into the little two-step thing like that everybody's like freaking out over right now. I'm not that into it. This is going to my sister. It's because it's not a bad thing. You just have to like deal with this stickiness until it dries and then put the lock on. I just don't like really have patience for like a two-step thing. I like to put my lip color on fast, fast and furious. That's a favorite. Let's talk about one of my faves favorites. The Body Shop Body Butter. This one is in Honey Mania. It smells amazing. And you can see I've already used some of it. I'm making a little like caterpillar trail around it. Um, I only use it after I've showered because it's kind of expensive. And I love it so much. I've never tried one of these because they're kind of expensive. And so I like I love it. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be my new addiction because it's amazing. The fact that it's available at my local Ulta and not just online is dangerous. I'm only gonna buy one at a time though. But they even sent me like a free product in my little box. They sent me like a full size body scrub of like all those. That's so nice. I love the body shop. I like them so much. And I think, can you get a credit card from there? I think you can. That's dangerous. Anyway, <laughs> love this. Def C's recommend, although you probably already like it. Who doesn't? Loving this. This is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Body Sugar Scrub in Pomegranate. It says it smooths away rough, smooths? It smooths away roughness for all over softness. And it smells amazing, like sugar. And <laughs> probably because it's got sugar in it. <laughs> so funny. It smells like pomegranate sugar. If I could keep it in the frame, that'd be great. Um, I try. I talked about a, a body scrub in my empties videos, the both of them, and I like this so much better. The sugar granules in this are a lot thicker, and I really like that. Like, I, it, if I was a different person, I would squeeze them on my hand for you, but I'm not. And like, when you feel it in your hand, it just feels good, and I just really like. It's very intense exfoliant. I like that though, cause like before I shave my legs, I like to get all of the skin off. I'm sick but it's true um I like to get all the skin off and make sure it's all smooth so I can shave smoothly def recommend is it really so hard to finish the word definitely like how much longer can that be come on Laura all right third favorite is a Mia polish I talked about this in my first ever video which was a haul this is Knackered by Butter London. It's a, like a duochrome. It's showing up really purple on camera. It's showing up kind of blue in my face. It's different though. I've got it on my nail. Let me flip you off. I've got it on top of a like magenta -y kind of a color. So it, it totally changes because I painted it by itself too. And like, see, even now when I'm looking at it down this way, it looks like blue. It's a duochrome. The first time I painted it, I painted it just by itself. It's a little sheer just by itself. And it was like more blue than this for sure. But it just kind of depends on what you put it on top of and I love that. So I just really have been loving this. I think I, I've used it twice already since I got it which is kind of a big deal for me because I have so many nail polish that I hardly ever use the same one twice. 
a favorite, kind of partly because I've already talked about two of them. They're the Milani Lip Lacquers, Lip Intense, whatever you want to call them, they look like this. Um, I can, partly, it's basically a favorite because I really like the formula, and I completed my collection with these. There's only four colors in total. I wish they'd bring more because I really love the formula. And so, I've already shown these. This is Pink Grave. I showed this in a video, sorry, with Claire. This is Violet Addict. I talked about these in my top 10 lip products videos. And then these two that are new are Red Extreme, which is just your typical red. And then we've got Fiery Coral. They're super cute, super pigmented. I love the formula. They're just awesome all around. Clean sweep. I did a review on this. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation. <laughs> It has like a super long name. L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation Demi Matte Finish Air Light Oil Free. I'm wearing it right now. This is the lightest color. It is 101 Classic Ivory. I love this. I love the packaging. I love this in a squeeze tube so it's so much easier and more hygienic. And I just love it. It's like the best. It stays on really long. It doesn't oxidize on me. I look the same color as my neck, which is very rare with a drugstore foundation. And I got it for $10. I mean, that's not bad at all. And so I definitely, definitely recommend this. My final favorite is something that I talked about in another video, but I think this one's gonna be up first. It is my new purse. It's cream colored, it's Christian, it's from Payless. It's Christian Siriano, it's like a cream colored, and I think it is what they would call, too little arm, too much bag. I think it is what they would call a bucket purse, cause it kinda like hangs and cinches and stuff. But it's just really cute, it's long, which I like in a purse, and it's just, it goes with a lot of stuff, and it's really cute for spring, and I'm loving it. So that was my January, I keep wanting to say December, damn. My January monthly favorites. Comment down below, let me know what yours are and if you liked any of the stuff I liked this month. And like the video if you liked it. And subscribe if you wanna see videos similar to this. All right, bye guys.